Hello everyone. Today is Sunday, Sunday, the January twenty first, twenty twenty four. We've been snowed in here for a week now. We live on a hill. It's it's a challenge when it's winter time and there's snow, because we cannot go in and out back and forth from our house to the city. You can see our yard. It has ice and snow. It's a solid ice here. You see, when it snowed, it was fluffy snow. And then a couple days later, it melted. And there's only so much you can do. You can scrape it off. And then when it rains, because it rained after the snow, and this is what happens. Snow on top of the rain. And here in the south, it's it's warmer than the north. But in winter time, you get snow, and then the snow will freeze. And then the following day, freezing rain. And then on top of the snow is freezing rain and ice. So that's why it's hard. It's It's difficult to keep up. You can't keep up with ice. It freezes really quick. Overnight, like uh, during daytime, it will have a temperature of... 20 degrees, 15 degrees, or something like that. Say hello to this one here, statue that my dad made. It reminds me of Lot's wife, when the angel of the Lord said that you go to them, you go to a safer place now. Lot's wife turned towards the city of Sodom because she didn't want to leave. She didn't want to leave her possessions. Her mind, her heart was, they were attached to, to the city life. She liked the convenience of the city life. You know, it reminds me, I, I like the analogy. I like, I like it that this, this statue here is in front of our house. My dad, him being a tropical person, he embraced the country living here in the U.S. It's cold, but, you know, he, he likes working with his hands. And so, this is just one of his masterpieces. My dad is an artist. It's a natural born artist. So he sculpted this snow woman. <laughs> and so since I'm talking about country living and there's a lot of inconveniences living in the country, especially if you choose to live in a place where there's four season. Four season is just, uh, there's a lot of challenges. So if you are in a place where you can grow your, your food year round, why not do it? You know, but you know, there are so many people that live in the Western world, countries that experience four season, extreme season, extreme, extreme cold. And when it's cold, there's, you can't grow okra, you cannot grow squash, you cannot grow cucumber. It's because they're tropical summer veggies. This is just a reminder for those people that complain about, oh, prices are high. Groceries are, the budget won't even go you know, you, there's only so much you can buy with your $100, $200. And so the option is that you, you move to a place where you can grow your own vegetables. Believe it or not, these things are not going to get better unless there's a drastic change. And that drastic change that the government is going to do for you is it has strings attached to it. So they will provide food for you, but then... Uh, your freedom to do this, your freedom to say this and that, it's going to be controlled. I mean, that's just the way it is. We, we've experienced it many times in the past. I know I've not lived that long, but we've experienced it during the pandemic that people were uh, not able to do what they want to do and movements were controlled and there's only so much you can do. Some things were not available. And so living in the country, being sustainable is, is, an, is a way to go. If you're stuck in a place right now where you cannot do those things, consider moving out, sell your place so that you're debt free and then start from scratch. <laughs> like you're making, making food or menu or recipe, start from the beginning, start simple. And my family has been really praying hard about it. So we will see. So anyway... When you make that plan, when you make that decision, make it right with God. Make sure that God is in that decision that you make. Because you don't want to be like this. <laughs> you don't want to be like this statue here. The woman, the, the wife of Lot that turned into 
a solid pillar of salt because she turned and her heart belonged to Sodom and Gomorrah, where her possessions are. When God calls you to do something and when God calls you to be where you are, follow him because his plans are better. And even if it means leaving the city and move out to the countryside, you're not going to isolate yourself, my friend. You're not. You just want to position yourself where you can be a better help and not be part of the problem. Because we, when you can help, that's what's matter.